Hi, now we will see how to set up the environment in order to get started with the React. So here, what we are going to do, we will just collect some of the libraries which are required for the basic implementation of React and then we are good to start with the practical of React.js. So let's see how to set up the environment for React.js now. So for setting up the environment for React, I am right here in the official site that is react.js.org and here I'll click on get started and here I will find the installation section. Here you have couple of options like whether you want to go for the online editor or if you have your own HTML editor. So what I will do, I will just download this sample HTML file by clicking here and here you can see there is all about pre-written codes. Right, so let me just increase the size here you can see that first of all it's the HTML in which we are going to implement inside the head you can see there are three script tags alright and all the three are actually including the library for the react alright so if you want you can continue with this online JS files that is you can just copy this URL and you can just continue doing that or else what you can do, you can just copy this link, you can just make a request for it and here you will get this particular file. So what you can do now, you can just copy the text and you can save it on your local machine so that even if your system is not connected to internet, you will still be continuing with that. Alright, and as I said, you can see there is a Facebook out there because it is all developed by Facebook itself. Alright. So I will, I'm currently con connected to the internet, so I will continue with this URL. So let me just copy this one and I will open my notepad++ editor. You can take any IDE as I said. So I'm just copying it. I'm just removing this comment, these comment sections. And let me just save that in the folder called tp underscore react demo. And here I'll save, save it with the name index.html. Alright, so it is very simple, like in the top you can see there is a HTML and as soon as you will see the script, that means I am getting all these script files and right here you can see the pre-written code, alright. So what it is actually doing here, it, there is a div in which there is an id root and as soon as you will say react dom dot render you can write anything. So we'll discuss about these things later in the detail but to just check whether I'm getting this hello world or not I will open up the browser again and we'll make a request for that particular file using the address and here you can see I got this hello world means it's all working fine now. So this is the basic way of setting up the environment for the react but obviously it's not up to very very good mark and in case you are going to a real life development we will do something better than that and in the next video we'll see how to set up the environment using the node package manager. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.